All right, so this is going to be a shorter video on how to use a FAL instruction on how to control traffic lights. All right, so very simply, let's go ahead and talk about this. I am using Studio 5000 and I'm using Factory Talk View Site Edition 13 over on this side. So I'm merely testing the screen and I'm playing the screen when I need it. So what's happening here in these two rungs, one rung is just simulation. I'm simulating a timer and it's basically like a flash timer and, and it says okay well once uh, timer zero is done then I want to auto increment all right now let's let's break down and talk about this uh, FAL instruction a little bit so I uh, first you're just going to give it a name this is the control name of the actual instruction you could name it whatever you want to I chose to name it traffic light underscore control all right the length the length is very important so how far do you want to have the FAL index down uh, in my in my uh, focus right here I can accomplish all six of these lights and control all six of these lights with four arrays so four only four now you may think differently but it only requires four so the position is going to go from zero one two three four so it's actually five um, actually no it is four so zero, one, two, three, and then you'll see it. Um, now currently I have this set to increment instead of all. So meaning every time this bit comes on, it's gonna increment one position. That's it. No more, no less, one position. All right, so then we have our destination which gets filled by our expression. In our token, we have our expression which is basically uh, an array value right here. Uh, this array value is a, a dent that I made of 16 of dimension of 16 and what it does is it basically says okay I have 16 points of data that I could put in here and what I want to do is I want to point to any one of those arrays that I want to based upon the position of my FAL instruction so I'm using the instruction name which is traffic light our control traffic light our traffic light underscore control dot position so I'm using this right here this this name plus this and I'm taking that and pointing to the array that I want to use now in that array what it's doing is the data that's inside the array is being loaded inside of this actual uh, destination which this is just a single dent it's not a or an array itself um, so when it comes down to it let's accept that and I'll show you this process um, that data is being loading in here and we're controlling the lights based upon whatever it, it is over here now let me, let me show you this a little bit deeper um, so with this said uh, you have the and I, I explained this is just a second ago or just a second ago so we have um, one two three right here so the rest of these really don't matter the rest of these right here do not matter I just auto filled these off of the binary coded decimal um, and they do not matter in the scheme of making these lights work okay so just keep that in mind so to eliminate confusion let's go ahead and eliminate those so I'm doing this off zero one two and three all right so how am I doing this? I'm if the position of the FAL instruction is pointing to zero, then it's going to turn on this bit right here and this bit right here. And what did I do to make this easier? As I actually name these, so this bit would be the uh, this bit right here that's being turned on is the green bit or the green light, uh, and this bit right here is the red light for the second. The second light. Um, second thing is is if the uh, FAL instruction uh, position is pointed to one, then I want to come in here and turn on this bit or this bit right here and this bit right here. So I'm keeping the red on and then I'm going to turn on the yellow. Now that is a decimal value of 10. Um, so I'm breaking that down in binary coded decimal. So this is how simple this is. If the position is pointed to two, what it's going to do is it's going to then turn on the red on light number two 
um, in the, our light number one and then turn on the green on light number two. So this is this all this data right here from the zero from the 12 to 10 to 30, 33 to 17 will get passed down to this right here. You'll see this number change every time it does cycle. You see that does change. You see this is changing uh, right now. It's at 12. It's at 10 and you'll see this actually uh, keep indexing down so that's 33 right now and that's basically how I'm controlling the lights and in factory talk view studio uh, what I'm doing is uh, I'm doing this really simple I'm saying traffic light underscore ons dot zero which is this bit right here is going to be the red light this number uh, the amber light or the yellow light is going to be one which is this bit right here and the green light is going to be two and that's that bit right there um, again so you kind of see the pattern here this is going to be uh, actually this is going to be three right here you see this this is going to be bit three which again is right here uh, this bit right here is going to be four which is that that bit right there is going to be this bit right here and this bit right here is going to be bit five you probably already figured that by now but again to keep it simple and keep it this as simple as possible uh, to show you how a traffic light works within FAM instruction and how to actually easily simulate that probably within a given 15 to 20 minutes you can accomplish the same exact thing the more you do this, um, I suggest you practice this on your own. Um, I'm using an emulator. I'm using uh, everything is fully emulated, uh, so I have no real processor. It's done on this computer. Um, I recommend you do this yourself and get that muscle memory. And you'll the more you do this, the more you'll understand it, and the more you can make it simplify. Again, we all have things we do differently. We all have things we do differently. Okay, so no matter how you accomplish this goal you still as long as you accomplish the goal of the lights working correctly you won right so you did the right thing no matter how you did it uh, you could do it exactly the same way i'm doing it or you could choose to do it a different way it doesn't matter this what's important is that the scope of work the lights work the correct way obviously if you have the light come on at the wrong time a car accident will happen in this environment though this is about an experiment or a uh, exercise that's often giving and testing or uh, troubleshooting or, or basically technician training, stuff of that nature. So I wanted to give a, uh, another valid illustration of this and how, um, how I would do this. I'm using version 35 and I'm using FTView uh, 13. You could be using any kind of control logics platform. It could be RS Logix uh, 20 all the way up to 35. You could be using FTView 6 all the way up to FTView 13. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm just showing you exactly the way I am controlling it so that you can better understand. And hopefully this did help you understand the FAL instruction. With that said, we'll see you guys on the next one.